the 17th Annual NoDQ.com Year End Awards. Next up we have Worst Pay-Per-View. The nominees, Fastlane, Roadblock, WrestleMania 32, SummerSlam, Clash of Champions, and Bound for Glory. The easy side is to pick Bound for Glory because nobody watched it. But the uh, thing is, nobody watched it. Nobody watched it, so how, how do we know it was bad? Well, I saw uh, it. It was okay. It was okay. All right. Um, of the ones I saw... Well, Roadblock was pretty weak. Roadblock, yeah. I was just, of the ones I saw on this list, which is the, the WWE ones, uh, Roadblock was the I easy, mean, Roadblock was, one. I mean, barely even a pay-per-view. I yeah, mean, it was I mean, more like a glorified house show. Yeah, it was more like a glorified uh, takeover special that, with, 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 with none of the good talent. And, um, so, I'm, yeah. Fastlane was pretty bad, too. You had the whole, uh, had the whole uh, storyline with... Um, I can't remember. Oh, he had the original AJ Jericho match. It was actually pretty good. That was all right. But other than that, what happened on that show? Do you even remember now? It's in February. Do you remember how back in February? No. Yeah. Roadblock is probably my pick of the WWE ones, but I just remember seeing the, the hearing your report from Battle for Glory and just seeing how bad it was as uh, on replays and whatnot. It was just like, wow. They just don't give the crap anymore. They don't care. I think I'd have to go to Clash of Champions. I mean, okay. I, I think, you know... The thing is, like, a lot of the WWE pay-per-views were not even bad with the in-ring product, but the storytelling and the right. booking was very weak. And Clash of Champions, you know, going back to earlier, you were talking about Rollins and Owens. Their feud, to me, was not lighting the world on fire. And um, I think uh, Raw fell short, you know, compared to SmackDown's Backlash pay-per-view. Yep. So I, I would go with Clash of Champions. All right. 